When working in AutoCAD PNID, uh, the, well, the portion of AutoCAD Plan 3D, which is AutoCAD PNID, um, you normally don't, or the default is not for any of your specs or catalogs which you use in AutoCAD Plant to be linked to that PNID. It's kind of just like free floating. So and, and, and detached. So what we've got is in our project setup, we can actually set AutoCAD plants um, to look at the PNID, well, to look at the specs when we're drawing our PNID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project setup. And in my project setup over here, if I go to the PNID DWG settings, pipe specs and PID, you'll see the default is standard project. I'm going to make it spec driven over here. What this allows us to do is it allows us to be able to um, more easily um, or, or sort of sync up the specs that we're using in AutoCAD PNID with our AutoCAD plant as well. So if you've got about um, you know, half office doing PNIDs and they're not necessarily doing your, your, your 3D piping and stuff and the other half of the office does that, at least when they, the plant guys start to look at the PNID drawings, the spec is already there and they should just be able to plonk it down from the line lister that you get from your PNID. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when you don't, when everything is unassigned. So if I go to the bottom over here, the top, okay, so there are these, oh, unassigned is not available anymore. Okay, but if I go and root a, um, so let's go to my, my pin ID first. Okay, then you'll see there's my unassigned over there, and you also see that there's lines running through it. So those lines are telling me that this is out of spec. So what I'm going to do over here is I just click on this and I'll go look for what I need over here in spec. So I'm going to go CS 150 flanged. Okay, and when I select that, you'll notice that everything above here where it's not sort of grayed out in the background or hatched. Uh, so from 2 inches to 24 inches is um, in spec. Anything below 2 inches is out of spec and anything above 20, 22 and above is out of spec as well. So if I had to go draw any any lines or pipes with these um, values over here and I try to grab it into my, my plant 3D, it would give me an error saying this was out of spec. So what I'm going to do over here is let's just go, let's do 10 inches and uh, CS150 flange and I'm just going to go draw a line over there okay and when I select this now and I sign a tag you'll notice there that it's already populated your size and your spec as well I'm going to give it a number 9887.65 and I go sign over here I'm going to go bring in a, a gate valve or a valve okay Okay, there we go, and a pinch valve over here, and there we go. And then let's go, say, look right, let's do 16 inches, or let's do off spec, so that half a spec over there. Let's see actually what happens when I try and bring that in. So I'm going to go, it still allows me to draw the PNID, it's just that it's going to be out of spec, or um, nothing's going to match up when I, I try and bring it in to my um, my 3D. Okay, so let me just go put in a pipeline over here so I can more easily identify this. Uh, 5555 five, five, five. and okay. Okay, I've already got one. There's 5. Let's go 5556. Five, five, Great. Okay, so once that's done, okay, so HKG, let's go and create a new plant 3D drawing. So go create my drawing and we open it up over here. So now I need to just go change my workspace. So I'm working with all my 3D components. And with that, you'll see I've got my PNID line list. So with that over there, you'll see I can't see that 5556 that I created. Just got to go to the drop down over here and then go to the, the drawing that I had. You can see 5556 and 8765. So I select that. You'll see there got one gate valve. The pinch valve is not currently mapped to the 3D item, so um, let's go to my flange, place it, and we should have a 10 inch pipe that I'm able to run. And no errors, and look at that, it's flanged as well. And then for this, put my valve in. 
and then I put my valve okay it doesn't, it doesn't place properly but you get the point so it is mapped to my um, the spec that I've got over here okay there we go just didn't have my uh, snap settings on okay so this was another important reason why you should have your snap settings on so let's go to this one over here okay place and immediately it gives me an error it tells me right the size of spec properties of the the class primary line segment does not match what is available in this project so it does not match what is available in the spec that I've got so you know it's you know I can go and to the catalog or go to the spec and go change it there so that you know I do have that half inch uh, pipe available but unfortunately uh, that's not what we have in this case over here so um, here is a nice way to be able to control that what the guys in the PNI and are doing is also what the guys in the plant environment is doing as well um, so just for more checks and balances uh, when we're creating our our uh, our designs our plant designs and with thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon for the next one